triggered something, but what? I triggered something, but what? Fit. Here we are, Farglo, the place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. And today, the honor is yours. You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. This is a momentous step in every slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. Though I should very much like to enter the village again, I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may dragon slayers enter it as disciples. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each slayer must walk alone. They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. That may sound a bit vague, but don't worry. Farglow will explain itself. Not completely, no. After the initiation, we will head back to Rivertown where the ritual will come to its conclusion. But let's talk about that on the Zeppelin when we head back, shall we? Good luck, Slayer. The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Farglow. And I commend your patience. Most slayers loathe being referred to as a pupil. Such a belittling word, disciple is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors. But don't you worry, you learn the title of dragon slayer soon enough. Couldn't have put it better myself. In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. The Archmage. She's an intimidating woman, to be sure, but ah, pleasant enough in her own way. Her laboratory is at the back of the village, next to the Divine Memorial Flame. Oh, several people, but she'll send you on your way after her part of the ritual. The others probably won't share more than a few words with you until they know you've visited Morgana. As the name says, it's a shrine that bears a flame in honor of the divine. The bowl in which the flame was lit is held aloft by stone dragons. This design symbolizes the burden they carry on their shoulders. The guilt that was heaped upon them when they killed the divine. And you, Slayer. of a newly stocked coin purse. Oh, let's trade then, Slayer. Oh, music to my...
No! To combine that brew with last night's herbal distillation might cause an implosion. Try it anyway. You can be so irresponsible sometimes. That's easy for you to say. You can't die a second time. Good to see you, disciple. I am Morgana, the Archmage of Fargo. <laughs> no, of course I wasn't. I was talking to Toro, the ghost of a long dead mage. No need to give me that look, either. You'll soon see him for yourself. But let's turn to the reason you are here. The ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. You have a smart mouth on you. This is a serious ritual, though, so do pay attention. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy quite so seriously as the Academy does. To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits of the dead. The ritual has a side effect, but nothing can be done about that. Quite so. You could call it a perk that comes with the power of the memories. Everyone can see the living dead, of course, those poor souls that have fallen prey to necromancers. But to see the ghosts of those long dead is a precious ability, and will prove useful more frequently than you may think. The real drawback is this. The spell was not originally designed for the brain of a human, so to make place for it, you will lose your active knowledge of your years as a slayer. It's unpleasant, I realize that. But a slayer needs those dragon memories in order to operate. The only comfort is that your powers stay persist on a subconscious level. So, you'll regain your skills rather quickly. Becoming a dragon slayer is a harsh occurrence, but you'll become one of Rivalan's greatest heroes. The memories not only give you more insight and knowledge than a man could absorb in a century of unbroken study, they also protect you from mind attacks the dragons perform. Without that, you'd be a puppet doing their bidding. But now, you have equal mental strength, so dominance in combat can be achieved. No, no, they haven't. Your training has made you a force to be reckoned with and has shaped a mind that rivals the wise teachers of old. Lesser people would be driven mad by the dragon memories. Only one as arduously trained as yourself can absorb them. Take comfort in the fact that slayers like Rode and Marius have faced the same ordeal and went on to become mighty warriors. Then prepare to become a dragon slayer. And that's that. You might experience some dizziness for a while. Some disorientation, perhaps. The journey starts again, my friend. Your path is an empty page ready to be filled with tales of wonder, of adventure. But before you trot out of here in search of dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain know more about their trade than anyone you are likely to meet. And don't forget Isabel. The gift she will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you'll receive in Foglo. Divine blessing, Slayer. The last ingredient needed to achieve the... What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> ah, yes. There's that famous wit of his. Slayer, meet Toro. Not all it's cracked up to be. I was expecting a good long rest, but no. I'm still doing my old job. Only none of my former clientele can see me. Very handy. Why, the Hall of Echoes, of course. 
Don't tell me you've never heard of it. It's a transitional place between our world and the next. Rumor has it your memories are eaten away so that you can enter the afterlife unburdened by the sorrows of this life. An unnecessary precaution, if you ask me. I have mostly fond memories of my time in Rivalon. Most ghosts you'll meet are there because of unfinished business. The strength of their will not to move on until that business is settled is what binds them to the material world. In my case, it was my passion for alchemy. I will not find tranquility until I have fathomed all its innermost enigmas. Could take a while still. You know where to find me. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity still eludes me. Maybe we could add some fireflies. That might solve the brightness issue, but wouldn't exactly improve the taste. You have your silver eyes. Quite an ordeal it must be, absorbing all those dragon memories. Don't mind me, Slayer. I just take care of the piggies here. Can't teach you no special magics. Something like that. Me and my husband, Tom, were the Farglow's pig farmers. Though I'm the one doing the actual herding, he's more the town's cook. I like it that way because I enjoy the outdoors. And Tom, he just likes to stick close to the cask of ale in the kitchen. Bye, Slayer. The prince soon became the pop. The Slayer turned noise, so it goes. Remember, though, gold may be wealth, but silver is power. I haven't seen you around here before. Enjoy your time in Farglow. I see you have met Morgana. That means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, but don't speak aloud. I'm flattered, but I'm afraid this is neither the time nor the place for frivolities and frolicking. Surprised? Surely you have heard of the gift of mine. Maybe. You have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. It was a skill given to dragons only until a scroll was discovered that bore the spell. A slayer found it among the ruins of a dragon knight's citadel tower, and we have used it ever since. Of course, it is one of the reasons you are here. Now stand still and look into my eyes. There you go. The secrets of all shall be revealed. Be aware though, strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost. So you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. Fare thee well, Slayer. in archery. I'll tell you all about it if you like. The way of the ranger is the one of the hunter, the woodsman. Master this art, and the enemy will never even see you cut. You'll walk the wilds quietly as the deer. You'll strike with the force of wolf fangs. Just make sure you are always the one doing the hunting, and not the rabbit that stumbled him out of here. The ranger born and bred. Archery is my occupation and my passion. And it could be yours as well. Have a great initiation, Slayer. What? Oh, the newborn. Uh, yes, I'm Alberic. I don't have all day. My experiments, they keep me very busy. But fine, go ahead. I'll indulge you. 
First of all, the Slayer wizards are no fairy tale cliches. No toad tickling beards and silly hats. They are warriors like all the others in the Order. However, their weapons are the physical expression of the powers of the mind. Those who command these forces can vanquish all foes that they literally put their minds to. Of course, even the strongest intellect may be exhausted if used improperly. So it's up to the mage to see that this doesn't happen. Oh, many things. I'm currently trying to make the metaphysical physical, which is turning out to be quite a challenge. Then there's the perpetuum mobile, and the turning of base materials into gold. I think the combination of the two would make for especially interesting results. Sure, sure. Now, sure. Your eyes shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. My life has always been that of the Blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. It is an order of paladins, founded by the Divine after his ascension to Demigod. We have fought the Black Ring in all its forms ever since, until the Great War and the Divine's death at the hand of a Dragon Knight. Just thinking about it still makes my blood boil. You Slayers do commendable work, exterminating the Betrayers is a just cause, indeed. Only one more of the beasts to go, I have been given to understand. I hope you will contribute to its demise. It is the noblest path a slayer can follow, and the most satisfying one. Each enemy is killed up close and personal. You can feel and taste the blood that comes with each victory. Study the skills that come with the territory, and you and your weapon of choice will become an unstoppable harbinger of death. Excellent. I'll give you the warrior powers and a sword. Find Sonya. She provides... Buy more goods? I sell only quality merchandise. My prices may be steep, but who can blame me? It's not like I'm vending on Rivertown Market. Don't I know it, Slayer? Don't I know it? But what can I do? I run a small business. Tell you what, though, I give you, and only you, a special discount. So, spend some extra coin, and you'll get a little something extra as well. Oh, music to my ears! To buy more goods? Oh, me Shiny. <laughs> 